Hello, my name is Sarah Barnes, and today I'll be walking you through creating and editing tags in Zotero. Let's go ahead and open up Zotero. First, let's begin by describing what a tag is and why users should choose to use tags. Tags allow similar items to be grouped together by their similarities. Tags are unique to each user and can be customized based on the user's preferences. This can be helpful to researchers and research students to help organize items into meaningful groups. Tags are useful because they can add additional layer of detail for each item. A single item can have an unlimited number of tags. Also, by adding colors to tags, you can group similar tags together. For example, say you have tags identifying the year an item was created. You can assign each of your unique year tags a different color, and you can have up to nine colors per library. All right, let's go back and create some of these tags. Starting in the Zotero library, you can see all the resources we've gathered so far for this research paper. Now let's start in Topic 1 Water to see all of the resources we've collected so far about water. In this collection, as I move through each resource, you can see the information changing in the right tab. Each item in this collection is about water. You can see that by the abstract. But also, items have varying authors or directors, and each item has an associated date. So let's say we want to organize these sources using some tags. Let's start by adding a tag to the first item, which is blog post one. So we're gonna go over to the right pane and click on tags and select the add button and type in water. And you can either hit enter or click anywhere within this white box. Great. Now let's go back to the info and see this item was written in 2015. So let's go back to tags and add a tag called 2015 and I'm gonna hit enter. As you can see, these tags are appearing in the bottom left corner in the tag selector. I will now continue to add two tags to each item, one identifying that it is about water and another identifying the year it was published. And I will check back in along the way to provide some helpful hints. Because the water tag is already in the tag selector, we only have to type a little bit of the word and we can go ahead and select that tag. Same with this one because it was written in 2020. As you can see, even if you don't match the exact case of the existing tag in the tag selector, it'll still auto-populate. As you can see, 1940 is a new tag, so it showed up in the tag selector in the bottom left corner. We now have five tags in the bottom left corner in the tag selector. And when you click through each of these items in the tag section on the right, you can see the tags change. Now let's get into renaming, assigning colors, and merging tags. Let's say you realize Film 1 was actually released in 2016. In the tag section on the right pane, you can just click and change it to 2016. And as you can see, 2016 showed up in the tag selector. Let's say you want to merge tags. Maybe you realize that this 2015, 16, and 17 tags each have only one item, would be better off in one group called 2010s. So we can right click in the tag selector, rename the tag, and let's call it 2010s. And if we do the exact same thing with 2016 and 2017, by clicking on the 2010s tag in the tag selector, you can click through and see that the 2017, 2016, and 2015 item are all in one merged tag. Next, let's assign colors. An easy way to help identify tags in a collection or a library is to assign colors. So let's say we want to assign 1940s to be orange. We're going to right click and assign color. Now you can see the two items that were published in 1940 are now identified as orange. Now let's repeat the same process for the 2010s, 2020, and the water tags. As you can see down in the tag selector, the tags now have an assigned color. Now, if we go back to our library, we can easily identify which items 
belong to topic one, water, and the year they were published. Now let's get into removing and deleting tags. First, let's say we realize we want to differentiate some of our items a little bit further. So we can go to film and add a video tag and do the same for TV broadcast. Say we accidentally add the video tag to a newspaper article. You can easily remove a tag by selecting the minus button in the right pane next to that tag. Or say you want to delete a tag altogether, go down to the bottom left corner in the tag selector and select delete tag and click OK. Now you can see that tag has been removed from film and TV broadcast. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy using these tags and I hope they help you organize your items and resources within Zotero.